As of November 1st, 85.3% of the contiguous U.S. was abnormally dry or in drought conditions. That's the largest area to be affected since the drought monitor was developed in 2000. Drought in Colorado is mainly impacting the eastern plains, but the climate outlook from NOAA shows a high chance that drought conditions will return to southwest Colorado by March 1st. Denver is running a huge precipitation deficit in 2022, and that will likely not improve as December is on average our driest month of the year. On the flip side, many areas in the east got well above average precipitation in 2022, highlighted by catastrophic flooding in Kentucky and St. Louis. Parts of Florida got hit hard by heavy rain during Hurricane Ian. Birmingham, Alabama, Laredo, Texas, and Beaumont, Texas also had six-inch-plus rainfall events in 2022. Both the extreme Extreme flooding and the drought can be linked to climate change, which is the unnatural warming of the atmosphere caused by human activity. Excess carbon dioxide is causing the atmosphere to warm, which increases the evaporation rate on the planet. The result is more water vapor in the air and less water on the Earth. That happens everywhere, but in the areas that already have a dry climate, like the western U.S., extreme, long-lasting drought has developed. A recent study shows that 40% of the 20-plus year mega drought in the West can be attributed to human-caused climate change. Now back to the wetter side. That excessive buildup of water vapor in the atmosphere means extreme downpours of rain are more likely, and they will likely happen in the areas that already get more rain, like the eastern U.S. Research has shown that 5 to 9 percent additional rainfall can be attributed to climate change. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.